Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Libra. How's everybody? Hope you're having a good week. Libra, what is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life? Overall energy surrounding you in love. Anything else you need to know? Libra, too many cards. Libra, there we go. Thank you. Endless possibilities. Ooh. Libra, the overall energy surrounding you. There we go. Ooh, perfect harmony. Someone sees the possibilities of having perfect harmony with you, hmm, or vice versa. Ooh, great big love. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Somebody, they could be a musician, like music. You may share the same taste in music. I see some kind of uh, compatibility. Someone sees the possibilities. Yes, they do. They see all these options, all these things. They're fantasizing, probably visualizing themselves with you. There's a big love here. Libra, Libra, what is happening? Does Libra need to know regarding their love life? Clear messages for Libra regarding their love life and anything else Libra needs to know. Libra, does Libra need to know? Libra. Here we go. Ah, Ace of Swords. Success, truth, victory. Someone's having an aha moment. I feel as though you've got somebody here. <laughs> yeah, see, there's someone here who may be, um, wow, someone wants to speak some truth about commitment, their belief, traditions, behavior, maybe the way they conducted themselves. Someone may be missing you or they feel like they're not good enough. You may have... Um, you may be having some aha moments about someone coming towards you. You may be kind of wondering if this person has other options. I feel there's something going on. Yeah, there's someone here who wants to shine a light on things. Look at that. Having an aha moment. Yeah, I think you got someone who wants to talk to you. Likely someone who's missing you. Maybe this person didn't feel like they were good enough. Okay. Maybe they felt they, you know, don't have enough wealth, enough money. Someone's kind of lonely, feeling left out in the cold. They may feel, you know, someone's definitely thinking of you. I can see that energy, this aha moment, this truth. Somebody wants to speak the truth. They want to tell you how they feel. Someone may be even in love with you, and they want to tell you something they may never have told you. Okay, yeah, they've not. <laughs> this person might not have had faith, and now they're being left out in the cold. But they're seeing something here. There's time for some truth. Yeah, they're looking at things from a different perspective. They've gone within, looking for answers. They're looking for some kind of clarity. They're seeing things differently. Uh, this is someone who I feel wants to approach you. They want to take a different approach. I feel they're seeing things different. They're seeing the harmony. They're seeing the things that are compatible. They're now seeing the possibilities. This is someone who may have ghosted you, ignored you. Maybe they didn't want to commit, okay, or they felt they weren't good enough or didn't have enough money for, for marriage or commitment, but they're seeing this truth. Yeah, this person, yes, look at that judgment. This person's gone within. They're judging the situation. Could be a reconciliation, but it's also someone who's releasing this energy. This is like being reborn, okay? Letting go, healing, very deep healing. And yeah, this person's letting go of something because they're going within a little inner introspection. They're seeing things different. They're seeing the possibilities where they didn't before. And it was maybe because they felt they weren't good enough, okay? So they likely never told you something. They, you know, there's something they may have held back. But now they're having this aha moment. It's time to speak that truth. They're seeing things different. Wow. It looks like you may be getting a communication here. They could be a, a Taurus. I see your energy here, Libra, as well. This could be yourself, but it could be them coming towards you, wanting some sort of reconciliation. And it could be you. You could very well be starting to see someone different. You may be starting to see the possibilities. Okay? Yeah. Lovely. Take it as it resonates. You can always flip the energy. Yeah. So there is someone here. Look at that Ace of Wands. Somebody here has been... Uh, Thinking about investing in this passionate new beginning. There's a lot of passion, a lot of drive. They find you very attractive. 
Yeah, I feel like this person's coming in. I feel like they're going to take a different approach. They're probably hoping to reconcile with you, okay? But like I said, this could be yourself going within, uh, seeing things different. I see a Pisces energy. This person, you may be very, have been very patient for this person, waiting for this person, You can, okay? And uh, but yeah, I feel they're ready to invest. They're they're hoping their investment pays off if they come in and communicate. And that's where they didn't have faith. Maybe they weren't sure you were a good fit. You were on the same page, that sort of thing. So you may have ghosted them, ignored them, or vice versa. And I feel if they came towards you in a way where you you know there was something lacking, you couldn't have faith in them because they weren't speaking the truth. You may have had this aha moment as well. Okay, maybe thinking they had other options. Okay, I feel they're worried about that a little bit. I do think they're looking for answers. They could be so scoping you out on social media as well. So there's this approach. Yeah, there's this person's at a crossroads. Uh, they want to know how to, they're trying to figure out how to approach you. Uh, they may be wondering if you have other options, if you've gone on a whole new path. Okay, if you've gone off in another direction. But there's love here. Oh my goodness, look what's coming out. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, this person definitely is thinking about a new beginning. We've got this beautiful, passionate, creative energy. There's a lot of drive, a lot of ambition in this, this new beginning. I feel this person already, they do see you as the one. I feel they do. They, they see the possibilities now. And I feel there is a lot of harmony here. They may be listening to music <laughs> as well. You may have the same taste in it. But yeah, there's this new beginning. Look, at there's that nine of cups. There's that ten of cups. Emotional fulfillment. This person knows they need to reach out. They want their wish come true. You could be everything they want. Could also be something that you're waiting for, for this person uh, to come and talk to you. Maybe there's something they need to heal, they need to let go of. Okay, this is about a, a, an awakening, a judgment, a wake-up call as well. So this person could reach out to you and wake you up literally to talk to you. <laughs> and it's asking for you to have patience, making sure this person is invested. But I love the way this is the Ten of Cups. One cup, nine cups is the Ten of Cups. Someone loves you. They're realizing they want to come towards you. They do see the possibilities because they've, there's something here that they're realizing, okay? And they're going to make, this person's about to make a decision based on going within and seeing the different possibilities, the different angle. Um, maybe seeing things from your perspective or just changing their perspective of the whole situation. So, wow. Tell me about the ace. It could be somebody who is a little afraid of commitment here. Now, I see a Taurus energy. I see success, an aha moment. Yeah, purging and releasing, speaking the truth. There's someone here who sees you as a star. I see an Aquarius energy. This is somebody who wants to be held in high regard, okay? Uh, but this is probably yourself, releasing and purging something. So I think someone's going to reach out to you, okay? Uh-huh, I do. I feel there's a need. There's that truth. Oh, look at that Taurus energy. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Doesn't It really could be someone who's actually financially stable but always feels like they don't have enough or they're not good enough. This is someone who kind of lo is looking into the future. This is someone who's lonely. They're starting to see the possibilities. I feel they're missing you, feeling left out in the cold. Maybe they did that to you and now you're kind of releasing them and they're a little bit concerned about this energy because they're seeing things different now. Yeah, they may be even seeing themselves differently. So let's see. Yeah, this is someone looking into the future, being practical and realistic. Maybe this uh, this person has their own belief, traditions, behavior, the way they conduct themselves. Maybe they didn't have faith in the situation, or maybe you didn't have faith in them. Okay, and you may have moved on. That's what I feel they're worried about. They see it's possible, the possibilities. So I do feel they're kind of up in their head. They want to communicate. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. So yeah, there is this energy of something they learned. Look at that with the Hierophant. This person's learning something, and they're ready to move forward. They want to communicate with you. Taking what they've learned, okay, 
and coming in to communicate moving forward calmly and peacefully this person's probably afraid you've moved on okay towards another person and i feel like they're trying to find that out they're looking for some answers trying to shine a light on the situation this has sort of been on pause here yeah they have possibly some remorse regret a little bit of stress thinking that you may have moved on you may have started something you may have other options they're looking for those answers I feel they want to communicate. They something here they didn't possibly tell you. I feel they could be have Aquarius in their chart, or they're just in that energy. Like I said, it could be you. There's something here that someone didn't tell you, and it's got to do with love. This person's look, yeah, they're seeing, they're changing their perspective. They have some regrets here for maybe not moving forward calmly and peacefully. Maybe they ghosted you. Okay, maybe they just moved away because they didn't have faith. Uh, that you were compatible, that you were the right fit for them. So yeah, we have this, look at that, yeah, safety, security, financial stability. So this is somebody who definitely focused on money, very much. It's their habit. They're probably a workaholic, probably married to their job. It really could be what it is. And, you know, they may lack that faith in, in uh, commitments and relationships. Maybe something happened in their past I feel they're learning something about this, though. And it's a, I feel like it's about themselves. They want to communicate. I feel they want to come in and make peace, but they're afraid you've moved or moved on. Maybe you have. Maybe you've relocated. <laughs> yeah. So I feel that with this Ten of Pentacles, this is something about safety, security, financial stability. They're seeing you different. They're seeing you maybe more as stable, seeing you as someone they can rely on. They regret not seeing this, okay? So there's something that they've kind of figured out, whether it's just uh, because they've been thinking, maybe they had something they needed to let go of, okay? Purging and releasing. Uh, this person definitely sees you as the one. They definitely do. They're seeing things differently. They want to approach you and talk to you. It likely, yeah, they're a little bit worried about being rejected. They feel they missed an opportunity. They made a bad decision. Okay, so, but they do feel you may ignore them and just keep moving on towards another person. It may be too late. So they are a little emotionally drained. I feel this person's been in their head trying to find it. And they're just kind of going within themselves trying to find answers to do with something they need to release. And it's a fear, fear, a commitment even, okay, where they need to purge and release it. Uh, it's possible, too, they were still healing from a situation. Okay, they're having some aha moments. I feel they want to come in and speak a truth. Uh, they definitely want to talk to you, whoever they are. Now, this could be uh, definitely they're stable. And I feel both of you are possibly financially stable. Are you, they feel like you're someone who would have their back. They're seeing you different. They're changing their perspective. And uh, yeah, they feel they've missed an opportunity because they made a bad decision. And they're not quite sure what to do here. And I feel they're sort of just being patient right now, wondering if you'll invest in them if they reach out to you. So tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, so I feel, yeah, so I feel here too. Yeah, you may not be so sure if you want to invest in this person. There's something here. Um, it could be them as well. Being shy, someone who drinks their own tears. It's almost a martyr. It's like this person... Um, this is somebody who kind of sabotages themselves, okay? They miss opportunities because they make the wrong choice because I feel like this person's worried about financial stability. So it's definitely someone who is likely um, doesn't have a lot of faith and commitment. Maybe you didn't have faith in them or feel like they were going to be faithful, okay? But yeah, so it could go. I see a lot of different... Uh, scenarios for different people but this is i feel you got somebody here and i mean it could be yourself drinking your tears you're not so sure if you want to invest in this person you certainly want something emotional and i feel like you're just kind of sitting back you've been patient you're waiting and you're now getting bored of waiting for this person and this is what they're thinking too that you're going to get bored and move on uh, you probably have other possibilities other people who are interested in you so there is this crossroads this choice uh, to do with this ace of ace of wands this is the one this is that passionate energy that new beginning it's very creative 
they want to create something new with you. They want to see things different, and I feel they are. They're seeing your perspective. Maybe you rejected this person. Maybe they've already come around for some kind of reconciliation, and maybe you rejected them because you felt you couldn't rely on them. You didn't feel safe and secure. Maybe this person... They definitely have some regrets. I can see that. Yeah, it's a lot of stress. They're, you know, laying there at night thinking about this stability. And I feel if you're not comfortable with someone, they don't make you feel safe, uh, you're definitely going to reject them. And I feel it's because they didn't get, bring stability into the relationship. They didn't want to commit. Um, or you felt they wouldn't, however that goes. So tell me about the Ace of Wands for Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Very strong. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces energy. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you, and they probably tried, and you, maybe you ignored them, rejected them, maybe even blocked them. But they, they definitely feel they missed an opportunity. They made a really bad judgment. Um, they didn't judge you properly. Now they're seeing it different. Uh, I think this person maybe felt that you didn't have a lot of money. Maybe you were coming towards them for the wrong reasons. You know, things like that too. But I do feel this person definitely feels like they're not good enough that you don't value them. Uh, maybe they didn't treat you like they valued you and that's why you moved on. Yeah, that came out the truth, right? There's that card. When I say that, that's the truth. So they're having aha moments that uh, they realize they didn't value you. They didn't let you know how they felt. They didn't tell you and they regret it, okay, because you've moved on. Yeah, so there's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. The only way to do this is to purge and release this, speak that truth, clear things up to get this going. They want things to go in their favor, okay? They want this new opportunity. So this may have been an on and off relationship, something like that as well, where, you know, it's just this on and off, uh, somebody here who kind of can't make up their mind. And it has to do with commitment and having the faith in it. And they may not have had faith in themselves because they felt you were out of their league, you know, that kind of thing. Um, maybe they felt they don't have enough money and it, maybe they felt they were out of your league. This person might be someone who really held themselves in very high regard <laughs> and they just lost an opportunity with someone. They made a bad, they, I think they judged you wrong and they're seeing it and that's what I kind of feel. So yeah, so we've got this person here. Yeah, see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they definitely have that air energy. They're thinking about this investing and they understand why you didn't want to invest there they definitely find you very attractive they're thinking of creative ways to uh, communicate they want this passion in the beginning you find them attractive it's probably vice versa they have some sort of strategy and i feel they need to invest like they're up in their head this person probably thinks with their head over their heart uh, they may have approached you in the wrong way if they've already tried to reconcile and you kind of went, no, sorry, talk to the hand, it's not good enough, whatever they were bringing to you. You maybe felt they weren't valuing you, so you made the decision. I mean, it could be you thinking, maybe you're thinking, Libra, that you were up in your head too much and you, maybe you thought they were strategizing, they were up to something. Uh, it could be either one of you. So let's see here. Tell me about this Two of Wands. What is this? There we go. Yeah, weighing the pros and the cons, making a decision. This is about balance, balancing head over heart, okay? Choosing the right path. This person's, you know, kind of looking at this energy. You And this could be yourself, Libra, trying to decide whether you want to if they reach out. Because I see you here a little not so sure about something, not sure you want to invest emotionally, okay? You're holding back. They under, they're understanding your reason for holding back. Okay, they. I think this person really gets it. They're thinking a lot about, um, you're just, you're not sharing your feelings with them. You've kind of moved on uh, because, you know, you're a little bit insecure to do with the situation. Maybe they made you feel that way, but it could be them. Uh, it doesn't matter, man or woman, however that, whatever uh, suits you, okay? The princess is really just an energy of someone who drinks their own tears due to um, a little bit of fear of being hurt. Uh, fear of sharing their feelings, but it's someone who really wants that, <laughs> right? But there's a little worry there about whether you should invest emotionally. And I don't think this person is invested emotionally, and I think they understand it. 
they understand that you see them possibly as the one. Uh, they're up in their head. This person's up in their head too much. Possibly overthink. So they could have Aquarius in their chart. This could be somebody who kind of... I feel like this is somebody who might have, like, I don't, I don't want to say arrogance or ego because I'm not seeing it, but I feel like because of the way I see that, the star card, this is someone who really values themselves. They're maybe were very well known in a community. Okay, they may have held themselves, thought they were better than you. Maybe you didn't have enough money or you were reaching out to them because they had money. Like there's something to do with this right? This is something to do where this person's going in, they're seeing things different. They actually see you. They missed an opportunity. They judged you wrong, plain and simple, whatever the scenario. They see you as someone would have their back and they regret it. They didn't make you feel safe and secure. They didn't offer you stability uh, because of the way they approached you, I feel, uh, possibly, okay? So tell me about the Ace of Swords. This could be something that's just happened recently. Uh, it doesn't have to be this big dramatic thing. It could be just something going on in their head. But they're looking forward. They're making some kind of plans to communicate. They want to kind of make peace. Uh, they're taking whatever it is they're learning and heading your way. And they do realize if they come towards you, you may have other options. Uh, you may actually uh, not want to reconcile with them because of this. So this is what they're thinking about. They really find you attractive, there's no doubt. But maybe that's what you're concerned about, is that physical energy. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is this here? Oops. Yeah, so there's this, yeah, see there, this person wants to offer you this cup, this new beginning. It could be an offer to go out on a date, to get together. Um, they may be worried that you've got other people. You may have gone out and met someone else. So they're being careful what they wish for. This person, there, there's love here. They, this person loves you. They don't want you to know. They, they know they need to approach you. They're trying to figure out how. They know they need to balance head over heart. Okay, they get that. I think this person really does. And, um... You may have options too, so that's why however they approach you, it's how they're going to communicate. They need to communicate that truth, that clarity. They need to tell you what their intentions are, and they're trying to figure all that out. And they see you possibly not sharing your feelings, okay, for whatever reason. So I feel this person definitely wants to come and see you. I feel they're going to reach out and make you some kind of an offer. Um, I see a... a yeah, you're holding your feelings back here, though. I see you in your power. Uh, they see you as moving on, possibly. They're being careful what they wish for, that you've moved on to another person. You may have actually moved or changed location, uh, going out to meet people, maybe in a whole new community. But, yeah, they're, they're looking at those possibilities. Should I reach out? Should I? How should I approach this? What should I say? Uh, they're being very thoughtful. They're trying to gain that clarity, and they are becoming very clear. They understand um, that you, you're either, some of you might be shy. Uh, some of you might be, yeah, they're going to ask you if you're single. Look at that. They're going to reach out. They also are a bit shy. They're a little apprehensive of reaching out to ask you if you're still single, if you're invested in anyone, dating anyone. I uh, feel they're going to reach out and offer you that cup and you're I don't know if you're going to take it because you're afraid if you take that you reach for that offer that they may not actually be completely invested so it's telling you to make sure you know what their intentions are that their intentions isn't just passion because I feel you're a little uncomfortable with something you're not feeling secure like this person has your back they have your best interests so you're also it's in the middle looking at this from every angle uh, and it may be due to past fears, something you may need to release as well, okay? But I, I do feel it's something to do with this person. But I feel this person's coming towards you. They're trying to uh, gain this control to come back in. They're very much in control of their feelings, but they don't want you to get away. They don't want you to move on to another person. They know there's possible competition, conflict, okay? And uh, they know they need to hurry up and take action, or you will if you haven't already met somebody. That it is the endless possibilities is it's very possible you've already moved on. Yeah, we have some Pisces energy, so they may have Pisces in their chart. 
Okay, it's telling you to trust your intuition. Maybe you felt this person was seeing other people. Whatever the situation, you felt they weren't holding you, didn't see your worth or your value. And I think they know they didn't. I feel this person didn't uh, take the time to get to know you. They may have ghosted you, ignored you at times. You may have reached out and then they, you know, you may have decided to just sort of move on. And they see it's possible uh, I feel this person kind of knows, they, they know a lot about you. I feel they're kind of learning. They want to get to know you more. Their intuition's telling them to see the possibilities uh, to make this decision. Um, they see all these things about you. They see you also as very wise. I feel like they are too. They're trying to just go on their intuition, okay? Interesting enough. I feel this person kind of keeps their feelings to themselves. You're going to trust your intuition. You may have moved away, maybe because of the way they treated you. You moved on thinking they were hiding something, keeping secrets. Maybe you felt manipulated. But yeah, they have all the tools. They know everything they need to know. I think this person already knew what they needed to know. They may have been in denial, okay, and they're regretting it. They judged the situation wrong or just made a bad choice. Yeah, they have the tools. I see possibly Gemini. They uh, they see you as a manifester too. Like they see you as somebody who would have their back. Okay, they're seeing this whole thing differently. And yeah, they feel pretty drained by this. They're not quite sure what to do. Uh, one thing, they need to get out of their head. They're thinking a lot. Tell me about this harmony. Why is this here? Harmony. Yeah, so this person's definitely, uh, yeah, see, they're clearing their head, they're holding back, clearing out negative thoughts, negative energy that they may have thought about you, or vice versa, okay? They're laying in bed at night thinking about this, and they know they made a bad decision. They want to heal this situation. They see the possibilities with you, they see the harmony, they see that connection, so yeah, but see that, they need, this is someone who held back too long, okay? And they walked away. They turned their back on their own feelings. And they let you get away. They held back. So if they want to come towards you, they need to clear out negative thoughts, negative energy. They need to um, come towards you. I see this person coming. I see this Ten of Cups here. Eight of Cups, right? <laughs> Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups is Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. They're coming in to take action. They know they have to come in and take control of this. Okay? Because they're losing control. Uh, because they took too long, they held back, they were in their head, they need to get out of their head, so yeah, they see, they weren't reciprocating, they weren't sharing their feelings, their emotions, uh, they're worried you're going off to meet someone else, you may have stopped talking to them, uh, you're, you know, stopped giving to this person is basically, and walked away, so they get it, they see that, see, drinking the, that tears, you know, you're, very strong, very capable. You manage to f find a way to get your emotions in control. You want love and you want that emotional fulfillment. And if they're not going to reciprocate, if they don't feel the same, uh, if they don't come towards you, you will reach out to others. You likely have other options and that's what they're worried about. You're not giving to them anymore. And they're worried about investing that you may not feel the same now. Uh, some yeah, you may not have faith in them anymore because of what's happened. Okay, you see that energy because they um, didn't treat you right or they treated you like an option or whatever it is. There's definitely some kind of confusion, something. And that's the thing is it tells you when things get confusing, just move on. Move away. Don't keep nurturing and reaching out and giving that person your cup. I see you not. And they know it. You may not feel the same way because of what's happened. Yeah, they definitely feel really bad, but you want to make sure you felt they didn't have your best interests, and that's what you need. You're not feeling safe, like this person will protect you, and that they'll be there for you, that they're not solid. And that's the biggest thing, and they get it. They do. They know, right? They need to reciprocate. They need to uh, come towards you. Uh, if you have already had this person reach out, and you decided to reject their offer and keep moving, uh, because I feel that you've gone through some kind of healing. You're walking away, you're turning your back on this, and you're ready for love, and they don't want you to invest in anyone. I do think they're going to reach out and ask you if you're single. They're a little hesitant, too. I feel a little insecure about reaching out and talking to you, but you make sure you get everything you want. You know what their intentions are. So I don't think this person meant to cause harm or hurt. I feel like it's their issue to do with a fear of commitment. 
Okay. Yeah, they, they work a lot too. They're married to their job. This is the thing with them. Yeah, they may be someone who's obsessed, obsessed with financial security and stability. Maybe they felt that, you know, you weren't stable. They couldn't rely on you. But I feel like you both had your issues revolving around that for different reasons. So this tradition, this is this person. They have a habit of just reaching out and breadcrumbing. And they get it. They see why uh, you're, not, you're no longer offering that cup because they're not sharing. Uh, you, you have no faith that this person, you know, if they come towards you, you had no faith. You felt that they were just going to breadcrumb you. So I do think they're, you've stopped talking. I do think they're going to reach out. Okay. Yeah. See, there's that little bit of indecision. You may not be so sure or they may not. This person was indecisive. They couldn't make up their mind. Uh, or they had some kind of fears. It's a blocked energy. They didn't see what was right in front of their eyes is what I feel. They didn't see what they had. Yeah, this is what they had. Look at that. <laughs> Libra, they have somebody very sexy. See, the very attractive, very focused, very creative, very hardworking, very driven. Somebody who never gives up. That's what they missed. That's what they didn't see. Okay, they also didn't see your intelligence okay they didn't they just didn't take the time to get to know you and i feel they also they see you as someone who has all the tools they actually are had all the tools they already knew everything they just didn't see it they didn't see what was right in front of their eyes they really really regret it um, they are like so drained from this energy i feel let me see this big love yeah they're coming in to take action they know there may be competition uh, they're also afraid you're going to still be angry at them Okay, now they're weighing the pros and the cons about how to approach <laughs> the best way. They got to bring this balance back. And you want to make sure, too, that, you know, the good outweighs the bad with this person. Nobody's perfect. Okay, it's basically what it's saying. So tell me about this great big love. What is this all about? There we go. Yeah, see, there you are, speaking your truth. You're going to want to know the truth. The truth is you love this person, but you need to hear it from them. You need the truth. They need to tell you. And uh, you will cut them out. Even if you love this person, you will cut them out. They see you as very strong, very capable, Libra. Very, very capable. They also watch your words. They're a little bit afraid that you may still be angry, uh, that there may be some, you know, a bit of conflict there. So it's telling you, it all depends how you feel about this person, okay? But I see you wanting the truth, nothing but the truth. And I think the truth is, is you still love this person. I don't think you're afraid to tell them, um, but you will, you are strong enough, you are capable, you've been focusing on yourself, you've been taking care of yourself, your money, you have plans for the future. They may be asking you what your plans are. Uh, if they, you want to do something, they may try to offer you that little cup because they're a little careful, right? They may be a little cautious about how to reach out. So just watch watch your words a little bit. Uh, you may want to hear. It's about card of hearing. It's about listening as well. Okay, so interesting, yeah. So you want to know the truth. You want to know how they feel. You also will speak your mind and let this person know you want that connection. You want a soulmate. You want someone who shares their thoughts and their feelings with you. I see two people. Yeah, you want someone who's on the same page and on that same path. So there is some compatibility here. They, they actually see you. Uh, as somebody very capable if you have gemini in your chart or libra uh, there's definitely some kind of connection there so that's interesting yeah see there's that they this person there's that connection this person has love for you they do they need to tell you the truth they need to come in and speak that truth if they want things to go in their favor there's things that need to be healed and cleared up they need to value you it's something they never seen they they judged you wrong uh, and it could be because they were judging themselves. They felt they weren't good enough. It could go either way. So there's your offer. You're going to look at this and be very practical and take your time. Probably, yeah, they're, yeah, they see you as marriage material. They, uh, they're, This is you making sure you feel comfortable with this, okay? Being grounded, looking at this in a realistic manner. And I think this message is going to be that they see you as a soulmate, that they love you. Because uh, you you aren't going to settle for anything. You're not going to settle. You will. You are very, very strong. You have the power here. And they know it. They see you as very powerful. They also see this connection that way. Uh, that you will, no matter what. Because you're looking out for yourself. You're looking out for number one. And um, 
yeah, you're not, unless they share their feelings and you know what their intentions are, you will cut them out even if it hurts, okay, because you're that strong. They get it too. I think this person completely understands. They are very intelligent. So yeah, see, they're trying to figure something out here. They're trying to figure out how to communicate. Maybe they need to apologize. They want to know if you're single. I feel their strategy here. You, and you're a little worried this person's a player. This is the thing. You're worried about being played, that they're going to manipulate. And that's on your mind. So, But I think they're trying to figure out how to fix this situation. They want to, You're the one that got away. They're seeing it. They see the clarity of the situation. They let you get away. They're trying to figure out how to kind of sneak their way back in and offer you a cup. And you may not buy it, but it's telling you to, you know, weigh the pros and the cons. This is your decision if you want this person to come in. You are at a crossroads. I feel you're about to make a choice, possibly. Some of you might even be thinking you just want to stay single. Maybe they just wanted to stay single. They want to apologize uh, for not speaking the truth. I think this person's figured out what's happened, what they did. Yeah, this is that... They didn't give you, they offered one cup and nothing more, right? But they see you as that wish come true. They see you as offering one cup and nothing more now too, and they're going to understand why. And that could be the problem, you know. Neither one of you have probably shared your feelings with each other completely, and there's all this, uh, I feel like mixed signals. There's a lot, it feels sneaky. This person wants to win though. Like if they come towards you, they want to win. They're using all that thought, all that energy, uh, to come towards you. They know what they want and they know that they let you get away. So they know it's possible there will be competition. You may have met someone. I feel they want to uh, get together, uh, talk to you out in the community and do something. Uh, they're definitely coming in to try to take that control back. <laughs> they see you as pretty scrappy, pretty determined, uh, quite vocal. You speak your mind. Yeah, but they also see this. Look at that emotional fulfillment there it is ace of cups yeah they know they have to take action they see themselves happy with you they're now seeing the possibilities and they really really messed up so but it'll be up to you to decide if you're comfortable with this look at it take your time just keep yourself in that energy of they see you as marriage material they're very comfortable with you and i also feel you need to you're not sure you're going to be comfortable with this person now after that okay and it's a vice versa i see taurus virgo i see the king and queen of pentacles two compatible people you see that yeah they this is what the energy they're seeing now they this person really screwed up i think they judged you wrong or they seen things wrong there's definitely been a pause Tell me about the tenna. It could be them judging themselves too. This is someone who always feels like they don't have enough money. All they do is work, work, work. It's their habit, their tradition. It's the way they conduct themselves. Yeah, everything needs to be exposed and revealed. They need to reveal themselves. It's something neither, neither one of you would probably have is actually had that talk, that communication. That's about the truth of this great big love. Wow. I, I feel as you've seen this person as the one and it, it I don't feel like you were a, like so devastated by them or maybe you were and you've healed from it already. This is something ongoing for some of you. But I feel the power of purpose. Yeah, make sure you know what this person's intentions are, what their purpose is. Stay in your power. Okay, make sure this person's focused on you and no one else or it's going to be a talk to the hand. And they, they're aware. You are very, very strong. They see it and you're likely more emotionally stronger than they are. And that's the thing, right? Yeah, they're not the most emotional person. It doesn't mean they don't have them. They do. Uh, they, they really have a lot of feelings. There's love here. But I feel it's like they're afraid to like really get going on that connection. It could be somebody who's been single a long time and all they do is work, right? They... And they might have had no faith in this, that this situation would work out, like if the two of you would, you know, be on that same page. Uh, but I think it's because they didn't put the effort in or the time to really get to know you. And that's what I really feel is they're realizing as they think about this, everything that's happened, some kind of uh, where they may have reached out already. Uh, if they haven't, they probably will. 
So this is about broken open, raising that vibration. They need to open up. Both of you need to open up. You need to clear out negative thoughts, negative energy, past relationship baggage to real... Uh, to raise your vibration okay look at that yeah they they're worried you're going to reject them but i think you're I, I feel like you may be open to this it all depends on your situation yeah spirit of gratitude look at that beautiful this person probably never showed you their gratitude they didn't really give you much or share much with you probably gave you no time whatever it is and they do feel badly they know they made some bad choices bad decisions here now they understand why you may have rejected them but if they rejected you okay uh, they would absolutely regret it they've missed an opportunity with somebody who actually could be the one and uh, marriage material so they see you as that queen of pentacles so they're waiting for the right time yeah they want this to come they want to come forward uh, they they're waiting for that right time to approach you they're waiting patiently sort of wondering if they should invest thinking well will you be invested will you still feel the same about them or is too much time gone by so time will tell there is a cycle ending and a new one beginning okay you may see things different you may decide to just focus on money and career you may think you're just going to stay single maybe you just want to be a companion and friends first maybe they'll offer you that till you guys get comfortable with each other it's hard to say it's going to be up to you to decide whether with the queen of pentacles energy libra if you're comfortable with this person okay uh, to be a companion first I think that's what you're going to say to them. We're just going to be friends and be a companion. Yeah, you want a little bit of amusement. <laughs> yeah, you just, you know, that's the thing, calling up the muse. Like, you're not really going to be all there. I can tell you're not going to be sure. You're looking out for number one. And uh, But this is about that opening to discover. So I feel as though you're going to, you may be lonely and decide to just give it a try because of that. Uh, just for the amusement, the fun. And I, I feel the two of you will likely open up and start discovering a lot more. You see these stars purging and releasing to be more open, uh, to discover more about each other, to see the possibilities, to see those. See that stars, those are the hopes and dreams. So I feel like you'll be open to it over a period if they make you feel comfortable. So this is about raising that vibration. Everything's shining through about that clarity okay if this person yeah there's something here for you too smoke and mirrors right this person may have um come towards you made you an offer and then didn't really put any real effort into it you decided to keep going but it's all smoke and mirrors they actually are the one who is possibly lonely and insecure uh, missing you feeling like they're not good enough and uh yeah they want to clear some things up but they may have inadvertently treated you that way so yeah all right libra libra yeah so you may be open to discover but i see friends first making sure you're comfortable just being companions hanging out as friends because you're a little careful what you wish for you want that ace of cups nine of cups ten of cups they are coming towards you this person through this period their love has grown for you because they've been really thinking a lot about it so but in the end it's all up to you all right libra wish you the best bye for now